Story France 24's Armin Georgian is here with me. Armin, um, these elections could really prove to be a double whammy for Boris Johnson. Let's set aside Northern Ireland for a moment. Downing Street will certainly be watching the results closely in England, Scotland and Wales. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, local and regional elections, they're not necessarily indicators of a general election result. Um, I was just looking at uh, the history of voting in Wales, for example, on YouGov, and the Conservatives there in several general elections actually outperformed the expectations uh, if you were basing those expectations on, on local elections. Um, however, what has been really striking in the last few months is that Boris Johnson is unable to shake off these uh, persistent scandals uh, surrounding parties in Downing Street, and no matter how much he tries to move the narrative on to the cost of living crisis or the war in Ukraine, you know, addressing the Ukraine parliament, all of this, uh, other things that, that he's doing, uh, that the party gate uh, keeps coming back. And so, given that vulnerability, even though local and regional elections don't necessarily point to what a general election is going to be, nonetheless, there is this these jitters within the party, the Conservative Party will be looking, of course, at what the results and deciding then whether the party, the Conservative Party, is paying too high a price by keeping him on as leader. But of course, we're seeing we'll have to see uh, what the picture is early tomorrow, early afternoon tomorrow, Friday. All right. Let's talk about Northern Ireland. Of course, the implications of a Sinn Féin win would be significant. Yeah, I mean, that would be a sea change, according to various analysts of Northern Irish uh, politics. Uh, a, a nationalist becoming first minister in Northern Ireland could mean closer ties to uh, the Republic of Ireland and also to the European Union. Not Neither of those are things that... Uh, pro-Brexit loyalist voters in Northern Ireland want to see. And meanwhile, for the British government, of course, any breakthrough by Sinn Féin arguably would put more pressure on the union, on the United Kingdom uh, of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. And this at a time when the Scottish nationalists are hoping that these election results will help them to pave the way for a second referendum on Scottish independence. So uh, we've seen in the last few years, there's no question that Brexit as a whole has put strain on the union, on the United Kingdom. We'll have to see how these elections could impact that perhaps even further. Yeah, and as you mentioned, those results not expected before tomorrow, early afternoon or so. Yeah. France 24's Armin Jordan. Armin, thank you. Thank you.